guys, so I went to Newberry Comics today and they had these Sailor Moon figures in stock and I was really excited because these are selling out really, really fast. So these are called Sailor Moon Petite Chara and these are chibi figures and I decided to buy five box. In this um, set, you have Sailor Moon. You have Sailor Chibi Moon, you have Sailor Pluto, you have Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, and Sailor Saturn. So these are all the characters that you can collect in this set. And of course this is um, 20th anniversary Sailor Moon release new figures. And that's pretty exciting. And these are official of course. Um, one way, one the only way to tell that you're getting official Sailor Moon um, licensed products and not bootleg stuff is if it has this silver sticker right here. It should be the uh, Toei, um, let me try and get it to focus. If not, I can just read it, but it should, there you go. It should be the Toei Animation official logo sticker on their products. And it actually says, and let me just read it. Um, Toei Animation Certificate of License Grant. So, official. So you know you're getting official Sailor Moon products. And if you're a huge Sailor Moon fanatic like me, you know that Sailor Moon is, if not the one, an like if, if not the anime, one of the animes that have so, so many bootlegs, you don't even know. And it, sometimes it's really difficult to tell what's official and what's not. So. This is official, and I'm going to open these, and hopefully I get the characters I want, or at least one of each, and no repeat. So, this is how the box looks like. On the front, it has Sailor Moon, Sailor Chibi Moon, Uranus, and Neptune. And of course, um, there is, let's see, six characters, but each character has two poses. So... You might end up getting Sailor Moon, let's say for example, but um, you may end up getting the same Sailor Moon or you can get this one without the winking eye or this one with the winking eye. So each one of them, Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon has um, winking eye and no winking eye. Pluto has, um, let's see, I think it's the same thing unless I am... It looks like the same pose, sort of, but like no winking eye. And then, let's see, Uranus, um, winking eye and no winking eye. And then, I like Neptune because her both her eyes are closed. So you can get the one with her eyes closed. And then, here's uh, Saturn, just a little different pose with her hands and stuff like that. And her head is more tilted here, and her head is more straight here. So, yeah. So let's open the first one. And again, I brought like five boxes because I was so excited. And let's see what I get in the first one. And again, these are blind box figures, so you have no idea which character you're going to get. So you may end up getting repeats. So in the little flaps, on the inside you have the characters which I always find like such a bonus because it makes me want to keep the boxes and not throw them away which I don't oh so these are clear in a plastic clear um, and as you can tell I got Chibi Moon awesome and I got her oh I got the one with her winking awesome Winking. So let me open all of them and then I'll assemble, I'll try and, and assemble one in this video for you. So the first one I have is Chibi Moon Winking Eye. Moving on. Oh, and this is how the back looks. Just in case you want to read um, the information, if you can read Japanese. So you can pause the video and just look at it. Alright. Second one I have is 
I got. Oh, I got Uranus. Awesome. Oh, I, ha I have her in the winking eye as well. Wouldn't it be funny if I got like winking eye for all of them? <laughs> that would be funny. But... So I have Uranus. The third one. I'm hoping I get Sea of the Moon, of course. If not, that's okay. Ooh, I got Saturn. I mean, Pluto, sorry. I, I don't know why I said Saturn. I got Pluto. So I have her. Um, in this little cute little tilted head. Oh, look at how cute. And again, each little parts of the figure is separated. So you're going to have to cut each individual part out with scissors. So cute. All right, fourth one that I have is, could it be, it is Pluto again, no, awesome, I wonder if this is the same one, um, because each, each character has a different, it's hard to tell with her, I don't know why. I'm trying to look at the box. Um, I think it's the, it's her hand pose. I think, I I think it's the hand pose. That's. Let me see if it's different or the same. No, I think I have the same one. I think so. But either way, that's super. The more the merrier. Or I can just give it away to um, friends. <laughs> hint, hint. Any friend that's watching this. Yes! Sailor Moon! <laughs> I got Sailor Moon and it's her winking as well. Isn't that so funny? <sighs> I got Sailor Moon. I'm happy. Sailor Moon winking. So I got this one. Sailor Moon winking. So, um, let me, I guess I'll do Sailor Moon then. I'll try and assemble Sailor Moon in this video. So again, cutting out each part. So let me try and focus on the details. So this is her body. I really like it. I think, like, the paint job is really nice. Um... It's all like colored in and filled in. There's no like specks of white, you know. The inside looks really cool. So the color is pretty solid, I think. That's really good. And there's like a really nice um, sort of shimmery shine on her bowl. Almost like glitter, but not really glitter. <laughs> like nail polish, I guess. I like the design. So that's really cool. And let me show you her head. I love the pigtails. It's so vibrant, the color. Um, the hair, like the way they do the highlight sort of seems, I guess it's, I'm not used to highlight like that, you know, but I think you'll get used to it. I like the details, it's so amazing. It, everything looks perfect, like the color, it's just so solid. Okay, moving on to her little bitty legs. They look like this just like slanted on the right leg <laughs> so cool and uh, they even got the detail of the little um, like crescent moon on her boots <laughs> that's really cool and then here's the back okay and then we have 
the little stand and the little thing that props her up. So let me open up these two and show you how they look. So this is simple. You just insert it on the back of her head. And then the stand looks like this. And if you sort of, I'm trying to focus on it, there is a cute little bowl right at the bottom here. That's really cute. Okay, so looking at the box, it looks like the bottom is here and then the top is here. So this is how you place it like that. And then the little circle, the big circle inserts into, let me see. I think the big um, this is trial and error because <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so. But let me insert the head with the body first, like that. Really easy to insert and no difficulties, and it fits like really tightly. And see there you go cute little legs there you go you hear it snap in and don't be afraid to like really push it in to like secure it you're not going to break it because this is really good quality in my opinion okay let's see now to try and figure out how to do this part Uh, there you go so it looks like this this is how you do it so see the like the little sort of um triangle slant this part goes at the bottom and then this part goes at her head and then and then you can bend it up and down see and then insert it into her head Secure it, and there you go. Sailor Moon assembled. It's so pretty. Let me try and prop it up here so you can see it better. This is really amazing. And um, the price that I got it for was, let's see, $8.99, but it was actually, when I bought it, um, the item was discounted for like only $0.45. Cents. So I got it for $8.54 at Newberry Comics, but generally um, the price is $8.99. And if you don't have a Newberry Comics um, where you live, you can find it, um, you can find these online, of course. You can check out uh, eBay or Amazon, or you can check out the Japanese website called, um, I think it's called J-List. But if you just like Google it, J-List, Sailor Moon Figures, um, it'll pop up right away. But yeah, so this is my opening of my Sailor Moon Chibi figures. I am absolutely excited. I love them. And I recommend buying these. If you are a first time collector of Sailor Moon figures and you want something small and not really big and not expensive, I recommend these. They're affordable and they're worth their price, in my opinion. So, I'll have a picture at the end of this video of all um, my figures assembled. And if you have any questions or comments, 
please comment below and thanks for watching